Hello, I'm Bruce Miller, CEO and General Manager of Wheaton Electric Cooperative, Inc. And I'd like to welcome you to the 74th Wheatland Electric Annual Meeting. 74 years is a long time, and we want to thank you, the members, for allowing us to serve you. As we have in the past three years, to be more transparent with our members and more convenient, we are simulcasting this year's annual meeting to Wheatland's seven other area office locations, Great Bend, Leota, Tribune, Syracuse, Finney County Garden City, Harper, and Caldwell. I'd like to welcome those members in attendance. Today, we want to tell the Wheaton Electric story for 2021. In this story, we will focus on the 2021 winter weather event, the ongoing pandemic, the Garden City asset purchase, three new member programs, information technology, cybersecurity, and S&T's purchase of Wheatland Broadband. Let's first talk about the winter weather event. A polar vortex across the country caused historically low temperatures and ice and snow to grip much of the nation during the winter weather event of February 13th through the 18th of 2021, stressing both electric generating capacity and the ability of the transmission grid to move power from state to state and region to region. You'll see on this chart how significant this February freeze was with 12 days of temperatures below freezing. Heating systems were working in overdrive to keep homes and businesses warm during this polar vortex. Our team worked to provide ample information to our members during this winter weather event through social media, press releases, direct mail to all our members, and through our website. During February and March, I shared video updates with you, our member owners, on social media to provide information regarding the winter weather event. February's history-making temperatures led to history-making conditions across the electric grid. Due to the shortage of natural gas, high electricity demand, and transmission overload, coupled with low wind energy production, for the first time in its 80-year history, the Southwest Power Pool, SPP, had to direct rolling short-term electricity interruptions across its 14-state area. We appreciate our members' understanding during these interruptions. Without these energy curtailments, we could have been faced with a much more severe and longer outage that would have been devastating to the communities that Wheaton Electric serves and to our region. During the week of February 13th through 18th, utilities were required to purchase natural gas at record high cost. Prior to the cold weather event, electric providers had access to natural gas ranging from $2.75 per MMBTU to $4.15 per MMBTU. From February 13th through February 18th of 21, the price of natural gas ranged from $3.39 to $9.99 per MMBTU. Then on February 19th, the price of natural gas dropped back down to $9 per MMBTU. These extreme natural gas prices, coupled with the extremely cold temperatures during February's historic cold spell, caused members to use more electricity than they would during a normal February and contributed to a higher than normal March 2021 bill, which was for February usage. This additional cost was put into a winter weather event power cost adjustment, PCA line item on each bill. The PCA is a rate mechanism electric utilities use to recover fluctuating purchase power costs. The financial impact of the winter weather event to Wheatland was just above $17.5 million. Wheatland does not hold sufficient cash reserve funds to cover these type of financial events. Because of that, the co-op secured financing faced an extremely large wholesale power bill. Wheatland wanted to ensure members had an equitable and manageable option to pay these anticipated additional power costs. So in late February of last year, the Wheatland Electric Board of Trustees voted to allow any additional costs from this winter weather event to be spread out evenly over a 12-month period. I am pleased to inform you that at the time of the production of this video today, 99.9% .9 of the 2021 winter weather event dollars have been billed. This was a tremendous accomplishment by our staff and you, our members. I want to thank each of you. Job well done. The final thing I'll share regarding the winter weather event was the importance of the coal fire coping station during the energy crisis. Sunflower Electric Power Corporation designed and constructed Holcomb Station as a reliable, economic, and environmentally responsible source of electric power for Western Kansas. Being able to use this as a source of energy saved each Wheatland residential member approximately $200.
That was a great savings to our members, and we thank Sunflower for operating the coal plant through the entirety of the winter weather event. I won't spend much time speaking about the ongoing pandemic. Rest assured, we at Wheatland Electric were and are still committed to keeping everyone safe. At our co-op, safety is always our top priority. Our focus is always to keep our employees and members safe during any extraordinary event. You'll now be hearing from a few of our directors at Wheaton Electric Cooperative as we continue our 2021 story. Hello, my name is Rick Klaus, Director of Operations for Wheatland Electric. I am happy to announce the completion of the Wheatland Electric City of Garden City Asset Purchase Agreement. The signed agreement process started in September 2019 and was completed in December of 2021. Wheatland Electric had some electric substations that bordered the City of Garden City service territory. The age and location of these substations were a concern for Wheatland Electric. The City of Garden City is experiencing growth, and these substations are no longer serving the needs of our members. The major concern was dealing with the stranded asset. Plus, we have the need for new substations in our service territory that are more conveniently located. The agreement consists of the sale of several electric substations to the City of Garden City to avoid creating stranded assets for Wheatland Electric. The result is new substations strategically placed in Wheatland Territory with the capabilities of growth for the next 30 years. The good news for the Wheatland members, someone else paid for this transition. Thank you for attending the Wheatland Electric Annual Meeting. put Wheatland Electric right in the driver's seat and ahead of the curve. Hi, I'm Allie Conine, Director of Member Services and Corporate Communications. As head of our Member Services Division, our team is responsible for multiple outreach programs and essential services provided to you by Wheatland Electric. I'm here to talk to you about what your co-op's been doing to improve the lives of members like you and advance our seven cooperative principles including concern for community. As we look into the rear view, 2021 was an amazing year at Wheatland Electric. At the top of our highlights, our annual food drive, Cram the Van, had its eighth consecutive record-breaking year. We were optimistic when we said, yes, we can Cram the Van. And thanks to the generosity of our member communities, local schools, employees, trustees, and many other hardworking employees and volunteers, we can confidently say, Yes, we did. Through our third annual Co-ops Care Charity Golf Tournament, 13 in-person events stretching from Tribune, Kansas to Caldwell, Kansas, multiple friendly school competitions in districts like Scott City and Great Bend, and an online donation campaign, members like you helped us raise 44,576 pounds worth of cash and can donations for a dozen of our area food banks. That's more than we've ever collected in a single year, and we couldn't have done it without the support of all of our Southwest and Central Kansas communities. In recognition of the positive impact made by Cream the Van, our 2021 campaign received special recognition from the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association, or NRECA. Wheatland Electric and our member services team took a gold spotlight on excellence award for the best total communications program. Thank you to the membership for helping us cram the van a nationally recognized and award-winning project at Wheatland Electric. As we look down the road, we're introducing three new member service programs in 2022 as part of our commitment to you. These initiatives will both enhance your member experience and propel us into the future as a comprehensive electric co-op. Starting earlier this year, we rolled out our standby generator program making installation and financing for Generac generators available to homes and businesses across Southwest and Central Kansas. Our generator program is available to our entire cooperative membership 
and is here to make life without power a thing of the past. In addition to our Generac program, Wheatland Electric is also here to be your first point of contact for electric vehicle or EV news and information. This past fall, we installed two level two public charging stations at our Garden City and Great Bend offices, putting our region on the national EV roadmap. The use of these fast chargers is available to both local or out of town travelers and is accessible through the ChargePoint app available on your smartphone or other mobile device. In addition to our public EV charging stations, Wheatland Electric invested in our very first 100% all electric vehicle, a 2021 Hyundai Kona for our company suite. In addition to taking our employees across our vast service territory, we're sharing this vehicle with members like you at Ride and Drive events, so we can show you firsthand the power of driving electric. Any member interested in test driving our EV is welcome to take a spin at one of our events. Visit us on our website, follow us on social media, or check out your monthly Kansas Country Living Magazine for upcoming events. Lastly, starting this year, we've begun partnering with trusted local electricians in our service territory to provide you with the opportunity to handle all your electrical needs. Whether it's a small scale job, like setting an at-home electric vehicle charger in your garage, or installing a Generac generator for backup power, we're here to help you facilitate and finance your electrical project. Just contact your local Wheatland office to get started today. At Wheatland Electric, we're charging forward in groundbreaking ways. And in 2022, we're here to not only deliver energy for life, we're here to drive it. Our commitment to you doesn't end at your electric meter. Our relationship and responsibility extend beyond that to your needs, principles, and everyday life. While our primary function is to provide services that are safe, reliable and competitively priced, we're more than your electric provider. As a cooperative, our mission is to enhance the lives of our members and serve the long-term interests of our communities. With a focus on the future, we're prepared for what's on the road ahead. So sit back and enjoy the ride as Wheatland Electric drives energy for life. Good afternoon. I am Jevin Kosselman, Director of Information Technology for Wheatland Electric. It was 21 years ago this month that Wheatland Electric began providing high-speed internet service to its members. Many people thought that we were crazy, but we looked at it through the eyes of our founding members, which was to provide an essential service to our rural Western Kansas communities. Over the years, the broadband service territory grew to cover all and parts of 12 counties in Western Kansas, and it peaked at over 4,000 subscribers. During that time, Wheatland Broadband continually invested in the system to be able to meet the needs of our growing subscriber base. In early 2020, our broadband division took the next step in improving internet access and began to investigate fiber. Our pilot project was to install fiber on the Main Street Corridor in Scott City to improve our electric infrastructure communications. Since the installed fiber flanked many businesses on Main Street, we offered fiber to those businesses who desired connectivity. Due to the high interest, we commissioned a study to explore adding fiber to our electric substations throughout the Western Territory, our core tower sites, and across the communities we serve. The study revealed that while possible, it would not be economically feasible to pursue this project. With this data in hand, the Wheatland Board of Trustees decided that this large of an investment would not be wise to pursue in the interest of our membership at large. Due to these circumstances, Wheatland leadership began talks with s and Communication, a subsidiary of s and Telephone Cooperative, about a possible partnership to explore fiber connectivity in Western Kansas. As these meetings progressed, it became evident to us that we had achieved our original goal of providing reliable broadband service to the citizens of Western Kansas 
that the future of fiber for Western Kansas would be better served by a cooperative specializing in broadband services. On January 1, 2022, Wheatland Electric sold its broadband division to s and Communications with headquarters in Brewster, Kansas. Since then, our IT staff has been working with s and to try to make this transition as smooth as possible. If you are a broadband subscriber, we appreciate your patience and understanding during this transition period. We are confident that there are great things to come for former Wheatland Broadband Network and subscribers. I am also here today to discuss the importance of Wheatland Electric puts on cybersecurity. We remain vigilant in protecting not only our critical infrastructure, but your personal information too. Rest assured that we have several secure systems in place to monitor and protect our assets. With the ever-changing landscape and threats being posed, we know complacency is not an option. Wheatland is in the process of implementing a zero trust architecture which simply means that if you want access to our network, you're going to have to have the proper credentials and you're going to have to prove that it is really you. If you are able to make it past those checks, then we will grant you access to the network and to the information you need. But it doesn't end there. All digital traffic at Wheaton Electric is continually monitored for malicious activity and improper requests. With these systems in place, we feel we are doing everything in our power to protect the bulk electric system and your personal information. If you have questions or would like to discuss these items in more detail, feel free to reach out. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy today's meeting. Good morning, my name is Jim McVeigh. I'm the Assistant General Manager and General Counsel for Wheaton. I work mainly out of the Great Bend office. I'm here today to talk to you about the newest Wheatland office building in the Wheatland Territory. That is the Great Bend District 6 office at 210th Street. Wheatland was faced with some difficult decisions about District 6. Wheatland had some dated buildings that were going to need significant investment and the buildings were two different locations in Great Bend. Also, Sunflower Electric Power Corporation, as you know, they are Wheatland's wholesale power supplier, shared both locations with Wheatland. Sunflower was rapidly growing out of space and would likely needed to have moved from both locations. Wheatland wanted to keep Sunflower in Great Bend and on Wheatland lines. Wheatland's board of trustees and the general manager came up with a win-win solution for both companies. Wheatland decided to purchase new property and construct a new building at a new location that combined all of its operations and administration at one location. This better serves our members. That's our focus. This building was constructed with a future in mind and it will permit Wheatland to use the most up-to-date technology in serving our members. This building shows our commitment to District 6 for generations to come. Also, Sunflower purchased uh, Wheatland's other locations that will remain in Great Bend on Wheatland service lines. We thank Sunflower for its commitment to Great Bend. Wheatland's new building has several interesting features. Wheatland's general manager, Bruce Miller, wants the new building to feature a green park that could demonstrate the use of renewable energy sources. This also includes two new electric vehicle charging stations. Wheatland wants to set the tone in looking to the future in rural Kansas. Wheatland wants to look forward to what is next for our industry and what's next in energy generation sources. The Green Park features solar panels and a wind turbine that is connected to a storage battery that can illuminate the entire Green Park at night. The Green Park also has a water storage system that can be used to irrigate the lawn in the summertime. Further, the electric vehicle charging stations are part of a software application that puts this location on the map for travelers passing through Central and Western Kansas. Wheatland invites you all to come out and visit the new Green Energy Park. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your annual meeting. As you've seen, 2021 was a great year at Wheatland. We completed almost in its entirety the winter weather event billings, we develop new member programs to meet your needs, including our electric vehicle chargers, Generac generators, and electrician services. 
We completed a new Great Bend facility that allows us to develop better team efficiency to serve the membership and opened our green space to inform and educate members like you about the benefits of renewable sources of energy. In 2021, we also completed the sale of our 34.5 KV assets to the City of Garden City, and we completed the sale of Wheatland Broadband to s and Communications, a subsidiary of s and Telephone Cooperative. The proceeds from the Garden City Asset Purchase Agreement enabled Wheatland to build two new substations that will meet the membership's needs for the next 30 years. The s and Asset Purchase Agreement allowed Wheatland Electric to hand off the duties of supplying reliable broadband services to our members to a cooperative entity that focuses on providing broadband service 100% of the time and will exponentially increase broadband capacity and speeds to our former broadband members. Those two transactions, along with a capital credit payment from Sunflower Electric, allow Wheatland Electric to pay off long-term debt in the amount of $20.5 million. Speaking of paying capital credits, Wheatland Electric paid capital credits in the amount of $1 million in December of 2021 in the form of bill credits. This makes five consecutive years that we have been able to pay capital credits for a five-year total of $5 million. I want to end with the fact that we cannot provide you excellent consumer and member services without a great team. As you look around the room, you will notice the folks wearing teal shirts or black sweaters. These are Wheatland's employees. They're the ones that assist us with fulfilling our vision of providing essential services that are safe, reliable and competitively priced to enhance the lives of our members and our mission of delivering energy for life. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. They're an amazing group and a pleasure to lead. I'd also like to thank you, the membership, for allowing us to serve you. I'll finish by sharing that at Wheaton Electric, we've always tried to put a good of our community first. While our primary function is to provide services that are safe, reliable, and competitively priced, we are more than just your electric provider. As a cooperative, we offer services that meet the energy needs of our involving membership while remaining cognizant of our changing world. We want to become your go-to energy experts. That's why we work diligently every day to make sure we're future focused and prepared for what's on the road ahead. Again, Thank you for allowing us to serve you the membership and allowing us to complete our mission of delivering energy for life. We hope to see you next year and until next time, take care.